I'm sure those of you watching here in Port Soy won't need many guesses to know where I am right now. If you're not watching in Port Soy, and I know a few of you won't be, this is the old outdoor swimming pool. It's not used anymore and it fell out of use long, long before that came to stay here. I'd love to have seen it in its prime though, there were changing rooms here, there was a snack bar, I'm told it was real, it was really the place to be during the summer months when it'd be packed with paddlers and swimmers. I'm no swimmer myself, but I would have enjoyed a paddle. It doesn't always look like this. The tide's in just now, but when it's out, all we really see is sand. But twice a day it fills up when the tide comes in, and on stormy days the waves come crashing over the rocks. It's quite, it's quite spectacular. And thinking about the tide got me thinking about King Canute. You all know the story about him, right? The, the silly old man who he thought he could stand on the beach and order the tide to go back because he was such a vain, self-centred, oh so important man. You might be surprised to know that we've got the story all wrong. Canute might have been an important man but he wasn't vain and he wasn't self-centred either. And when he stood up from his throne ordering the tide to go back what he was actually doing was teaching his people a lesson. Of course, the tide didn't go back. And he turned to the people and he said, Let all the world know that the power of kings is empty and worthless, and there is no king worthy of the name, save him by whose, by whose heaven and earth and sea obey natural laws. What he was saying is that he might be a king, but it's God who's really in control. And I think it's a lesson for, for all of us not to get too big for their boots. To remember that we might think that we are also important, but there are much more important things going on around us. We can all get a bit self-centred at times, but I think what the real story of King Canute tells us is exactly what Paul said in his letter to the Philippians. He said, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but to each of you, to the interests of others. Here we go. Right, I'm off for a swim now. <laughs>